and get started. So we are doing two minus four, y minus y over x minus x. Two minus four, negative four minus six. Y'all should be writing this down. She pencil's moving. Two minus four is negative two. Negative four minus six is negative two over negative 10, one fifth, okay? All right, so one fifth is my slope, okay? Do I keep it the same or do I flip and change? Flip and change. All right, very good. You flip and change, one fifth becomes what? Negative five is your slope. So what are some answers we can go ahead and mark out? C and D. Good, C and D, it's gotta be negative five. And I know this is a long problem, but if you look at your answer choices, that also tells you you've gotta do Y equals MX plus B, your answer choices. Um, be careful, what's going in for Y? Very good, that three right there, the point that we just got, because it says it passes through C. So three is your Y, what is your M? One. Negative, five. Negative five, mountains have slope. What goes in for X? One, one plus B. Negative five times one is negative five. And when you move it over here, you add it, which gives you eight. So the answer is A. Okay. All right, number five, um, which is the equation of a line perpendicular? Perpendicular means to flip and change the slope. So you pick two points on the graph, and I know it's hard to see. All right, I know it's hard to see. But you pick two points, and you do rise over run. This one goes up four over three. Very good. Then I have to flip and change it. Four over three becomes? Negative three over four. And that is my M, that's my slope. Negative three over four. Which answer choice has a slope of <coughs> negative three over four? We don't know. Yay, we don't know, we have to solve them, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so subtract four X, divide by three. The only thing I care about is the slope, so don't do more work than you have to. What is the slope of this line? What do I want it to be? Negative three over four. All right, so that doesn't work. All right, for this one, I'm minus three X. What do I divide by on this one? Negative four. Negative four. A negative out of a negative turns into a positive, so B doesn't work. C, I'm gonna add four X, divide by three. That gives me a slope of four, three. I'm looking for negative three over four, so the answer must be D. Okay. All right, let me have it. All right. Uh, flip it over. Um, all right, number six. Which point lies in line that passes through four? Negative one is parallel to the graph of y equals negative three, two thirds x plus four. What's the key word? Parallel means same slope. same slope. What is the slope? Very good. All right, so this problem is going to be a little easier for us. We know the slope is negative two thirds. You will not use anything else. All you care about is that negative two thirds. Okay. Um, all right, so y equals mx plus b. What goes in for Y? What goes in for M? And what goes in for X? Four. All right, somebody in your calculator, negative two thirds times four. Negative eight thirds. And then when you move it to the other side, you have to add it. What do you get B? to be negative one plus eight thirds. <coughs> oh. What is it? Five over three. Okay. okay, how would I write the equation? Y equals 
All right, so mx, your slope is two, negative 2 thirds x. Plus 5 over 3. Plus 5 over 3. Okay. All right, is that an answer choice? It says, which point lies on the line, okay? If this was calculator in Athens, what would you have to do with each set of points? So I you would have to plug them in, right? One for x, one for y, okay? Let's assume this one's calculator active, so what could I do? Yeah. All right, what am I typing into Desmos? The y equals, okay? I'm typing in the work that I did, so I'm typing it in Desmos. So y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5 thirds, okay? So I'm typing it in Desmos, and I'm gonna hit the little house button over here. Um, okay, what does A say? 7, 3. Is 7, 3 on this line? No. No. Um, what's the next one? 7, negative 3. 7, negative 3. Oh, let's use um, Philip's strategy from earlier. Let's type them in. Um, 7, 3. Um, what's the next one? What do we just say? 7, negative 3. Well, we can stop there, right? Do you see how the red dot's on the line? So the answer is B. Okay. All right. Um, a city planner is using a coordinate grid to create a scale model of a intersection. And you have one going through the points negative 2, 7, and the other one going through the points 2, negative 3. Um, then you have another street going through negative 4, 3, and 2, 5. The city planner thinks the streets are perpendicular. A contractor says the streets are not perpendicular. Which person is correct and why? All right, what's the key word? Perpendicular. Perpendicular means to flip and change the slope. So what do I need to find about this one? The slope. How do I find the slope on this one? Okay. I'm going to do these two right here first. So 7 minus negative 3, negative 2 minus 2. I'm doing these two points right here. This becomes a plus. 7 plus 3 is negative 2 minus 2. Okay. And that reduces to 5 over negative two points. 3 minus 5 over negative 4 minus 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 4 minus 2. Negative 6. What does that one reduce to? One third. Okay. All right, so I've got 5 over negative 2 and I've got one third. Are they perpendicular? Yeah. All right, so they are not perpendicular. So who said they were not perpendicular? The contractor. So the contractor is correct. All right, the contractor is correct. Um, are the slopes of the line supposed to be opposite or negative reciprocals? I haven't really used that vocabulary. What do you think? So, all right. It is D. Um, negative means you would multiply it by negative 1, which means if it's negative, it becomes a positive. It's positive, it becomes a negative. Reciprocal means to flip. Okay? Reciprocal does mean to flip. Okay? All right. Um, Andy is studying a quadrilateral with the vertices A, B, C, D. Which statement explains how Andy could prove what kind of quadrilateral this is? Please tell me what you're going to do when you see this question on the benchmark. Graph it. Graph it. Immediately. Okay? You're going to graph it. So, if you will please just look up here. You don't have to graph it on your own paper. If you will look up here. Um, 6, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's A. 8, 2. 
is B, 9, 4 is C, oops, 9, 4 is C, and then 7, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, I think this is a typo. Some of these should have had negatives. Um, maybe not. That is a quadrilateral. Mm -hmm. Barely. Um, okay. Could he find the slopes? Okay, we're going to skip this one right now. I think there's a negative left off of it. All right, um, last one, number nine. What is the slope of a line that's perpendicular to the graph of y minus 3 equals 7 minus 9 over 2x? Um, I've never given you one exactly like this. We know that it needs to be perpendicular. What is the slope of this one? Okay, just be careful. Is y by itself? Okay, now... Y'all are still correct, but I just want to show you something. How would you get y by itself? What would you do? You would add 3 to which one? Very good, because those are like terms. So 7 plus 3 is 10, and then you would drop down the other one. So the slope is negative 9 over 2, okay? So what would be perpendicular to that? 2 over 9, 2 over nine which is what answer? 